We're talking with Brett Young about a new single called Not Yet, a new album, Weekends Look a Little Different These Days, coming in June, and a new family member on the way. I mean, incredible announcement here with a new album coming and new and new music out. I'm excited to jump in and chat about it. Can we start with the album um, with Weekends Look a Little Different These Days, which is probably an understatement <laughs> for everybody right now, and especially for you as a dad and with an expanding family. Will you tell me about this project? Yeah, um, I think with every new project, the goal is to kind of try to... Uh, make it a reflection of what's going on in your life currently. And, you know, like for me, that's always been, uh, the way that I feel connected to the audience because you, you get, you don't get one-on-one FaceTime with, with each person that comes to a show, you know? So I've always felt like, uh, in order for me to feel connected on stage, I need to be like as authentically myself when writing these songs. Let's talk about this very fun, um, and youthful single, not yet. I I love the song. First of all, um, it, one of my favorite things about this is the other two writers on this song are, um, Kelly Archer and, uh, Justin Ebock. And we haven't, we haven't had a single together since my very first single sleep without you. Um, and this song actually reminds me of sleep without you. Um, it's, it, it sounds happy. Even if you're not listening to the lyric, I think it sounds happy. Um, it also, you know, I'm known for putting out ballads. So to have an up-tempo song coming to, uh, coming at people, it's, it's, it's exciting, but, um, we, we really wanted to, uh, not, not be too tricky with this one. Um, cause the, the, you know, the topic is basically one of those moments in life that is so good. You wish it didn't have to end, you know, you're trying to stretch it out and make it last as long as you possibly can. And everybody understands that. And so m- I, I love, I love kind of play on words, tongue in cheek type stuff. I do it a lot. Um, we didn't want to do that with this song. We wanted to be really, really obvious and down the middle. And sometimes once you give yourself license to do that, you know, you, you stop thinking about, is that too basic? Is that too simple? And you just let it happen like the way it wants to happen. And, and uh, we had a blast writing it. And uh, when Dan Huff got his hands on it, it immediately sounded the way I pictured it sounding. And so um, it wasn't really a hard decision to pick next single when we were starting to look at the project because it just, it, it felt and sounded exactly like I wanted my next single to sound. So uh, I think it's going to be really down the middle and, and easy for people to relate to. I'm wondering if there are like any not yet moments that happened in your dating life with your wife, Taylor, or like have happened since you guys have become new parents. Like, is that, does that connect those? Or do you have any stories of those kinds of nights? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I specifically with Taylor, you know, we, we met, um, we met the, uh, Thanksgiving week of 2008. So like 13 years ago, you know, and at the time when we started dating, I was living in Orange County. And she was living, she was going to school at Arizona state. So I was every other weekend I was driving there to spend what ended up only being like a, a really like 24 hours when you count driving there and driving back. And so it was a, the first year of our dating life was ex- tons of those moments. Cause you, you get there, you, you want to just stay, but you got to turn around and drive back 24 hours later. So it's that it, it, it's that every single time you're staying up too late because you know, once you go to bed, you got to wake up in the morning and drive home. And so, you know, next, next thing you know, you got three thirty, four 4 AM mornings going on just because you want to maximize the time you can spend. And so, I mean, the first year of our dating life was, was that over and over again. Um, and I think, you know, we still have those moments as a couple, but they're, they're more with the kids or right now the kiddo, uh, we just got the one, but, uh, than they are with each other. And so we, you know, as much as we're having those moments with our daughter and making sure that we're videoing everything so we don't miss anything, uh, we have to now be a lot more intentional about, uh, giving ourselves those moments because you forget, you kind of lose yourself a little bit and your kids. And so, um, whereas w- when we were younger, it was those moments were creating themselves for us. I think now we have to be really intentional about date nights and things like that to make sure that mom and dad are still having moments too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great point. And we have to, we don't have kiddos, but we have to do that too. We're 17 years into marriage and it's like, if we've got to always be pursuing each other, you know, it's kind of, um, I don't think it ever, it just changes, but that's, that's really fun. Is there a, okay. So I'm curious, cause I haven't seen a track listing. Is the title a song from the record? It is the actual entire bridge of this song is like so perfectly what this song is about. It says, uh, 
it says it's crazy. There's babies with messy hair and toys and clothes and bottles scattered everywhere. You know, it's like that's what that's what weekends look a little different these days is about is is the reality of what our mornings look like. They start earlier. They're a lot messier and they're nothing like they used to be. And uh, and so that's why we titled the record after that. Like I said, they're not all the songs on the record are about that. There's a little bit of something for everybody. But the most honest statement that I make on this record is weekends look a little different these days. So that's why it's the title track.